Hello, Scott, Mr. Scooty. Uh, my got home t after taking my footage for your uh, video support, and I realized my intro was absolutely garbage. So I'm doing my intro now that I'm actually home. Uh, I'm bringing you on a forested graveyard uh, hike chat rubbish joke tea and uh, whatever else came along I uh, hope you enjoy uh, so here it is all right mate so we're now we're headed in this is a forested location and it's on the 4th of July so I'm gonna show you a little bit of a uh, little bit of history maybe maybe not we're just gonna walk in and, and check things out Well, Mr. Scooty, sometimes I just have a hard time finding my way around this place, so I'm, I'm actually looking for a few different locations. And uh, one of the locations will have a tea, but I was hoping to have a little bit of a chat along the way, so as soon as I find a location, uh, I will, I'm gonna turn my video back on, but I'm gonna save, save you folks all the uh, hassle of me just looking around uh, because it's quite large and I haven't found what I was looking for yet. So, so right in front of my eye, right, right when I took my last uh, bit of footage, uh, I was standing right in front of what I was looking for and it, and it just happened to be right there. So uh, I'm gonna turn my camera around and, and just quick show you a few, few different things while I'm in this cemetery walk before we set up and have our tea. Uh, so right here, Mr. Scooty, is one of my wife's ancestors, uh, and he was in the Civil War, the U.S. Civil War, and he served, and he actually went through 15 Civil War battles, including Battle of the Wilderness, so quite significant. Uh, just a little piece of U.S. history on this 4th of July and that's just one of the things I wanted to share with you while we're on this walk and chat. So we're gonna keep walking a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of point of view and uh, we'll do a little bit more chatting and then we're gonna uh, come back up through and, and uh, find a place to have tea as long as the weather holds out and I think we're gonna stay here t till dark so I brought a, I brought a just a regular uh, lantern with me and we're gonna probably sit it out till dark and uh, have our tea and chat in this uh, forested graveyard so mate I made it down to the bottom of the cemetery and and we are down the bottom, and I'm just stopping by the, the uh, grave of my wife's grandfather. I'll give you a quick look. Served in the, he served in the Navy during World War I. Just a quick look. So we're gonna head back up through and uh, find a place to sit down and 
tell our rubbish joke and uh, have a cup of tea. So we'll walk back up and, and uh, hopefully this rain holds out just a little bit longer. All right, mate, so we're gonna have our tea right here. This is uh, the Civil War monument. Uh, uh, just paying respects to the Civil War soldiers that uh, fought from our area during that time. So, just give you a look at the monument. And we're going to hang out here and uh, have our tea and chill out for a little while. All right, mate. So uh, before I get making my tea and I forget, I'm going to tell my rubbish joke. Uh, it's a joke I told since I was a kid and it's really terrible. Uh, it's not even funny anymore to me. It might be funny to some, but uh, it's just terrible. It's the only joke I can ever remember. Uh, and uh, why do, why can't witches have babies? And it's because their husbands have Halloweenies. And uh, so that's my joke. And I've told it for so many years. Uh, it's not funny anymore. Uh, I don't even remember when I started telling it, but it was probably before I hit puberty. So, uh, there's my rubbish joke. Uh, so I'm going to have some tea and uh, we're going to chill out here for a while. So while my brew is going, uh, I'm going to do a shout out uh, for a gentleman uh, that's under a hundred subs still, uh, I'm going to do it for Northwest Nature Calls. And he's uh, in, on, in the U.S. on the other side of uh, the United States from me. And we're going to give a shout out to him and I'll put the links below. He's got some good stuff. And uh, he does some reviews and, and he's just done a bushcraft act. So uh, go over and check him out. Uh, his name's Bruce at Northwest Nature Calls. There's my old lantern I'll be walking out with tonight. I didn't bring any uh, battery power stuff. I figured we'd do this uh, under Caro light tonight. Just make it a little bit more interesting. I have quite a few of those, so I enjoy using that as opposed to the uh, other lighting at times. There's our brew going. We're not up to a boil yet. We'll be up to one soon. Using the Stanley Cup. This is my first time using the Stanley Cup. I've owned it for months now, but I've always managed to use something a little bit different, but we use this one. It was easy to pack in. Well, Scott, the rain's holding out, which is good. Uh, it's not too terribly exciting for you to sit and watch me have tea, or I would imagine for a lengthy period of time without talking. Uh, but it's not raining, and the bugs aren't biting, and it's quite peaceful, so uh, this is very nice. I'm actually surprised that some other people aren't here actually being on the 4th of July. 
here comes the wind. I don't know how well our volume will be on this. So. So I must say, uh, this is quite, quite cool chilling here. I haven't ever done this, uh, especially on the 4th of July, rather than like most folks going out to have a barbecue and watching uh, fireworks, I'm actually chilling with these people. Uh, a lot of them who uh, made this country great. So that's that's really cool. Just chilling here, chilling next to this guy. Hey, that, that's real cool. So had to add that little bit of piece in, in here to this uh, video. Just a in, important reminder to everybody, rather than just going to see fireworks. I'm sure you have it in your country too, as well, uh, different festivities. Well, Scott, I don't know how much of my weather is going to hold out here, and the wind's really picking up a lot, so I think we're going to uh, head back a little bit earlier tonight. I was hoping to stay till, uh, till dark and actually maybe do a little bit more, uh, just a little bit in the dark, but uh, I think that we're, we're pushing our luck, so we're going to get packed up and... Uh, I just want to say congratulations with your channel, over 500, that's incredible. I am looking forward to more, uh, seeing more of your channel. Uh, I haven't even gotten through most of your videos. Uh, I've gotten through some of them, I've watched some of them, uh, but I'm looking forward to supporting your channel more and, and uh, I just want to say congratulations. Have a great night.